Comoros offers a captivating blend of volcanic islands and deep blue waters. This hidden gem is a land of dramatic peaks, pristine beaches and vibrant coral reefs. Comoros is an archipelago nation located in the Indian Ocean off the eastern coast of Africa. It covers approximately 2,235 square kilometers, making it one of the smallest countries in Africa and the fourth smallest African island state. The country consists of three main islands, Grand Como, Moheli, and Anjouan. Mayotte, which the Comoros consider their fourth island, is geographically part of the archipelago, but is administered by France as an overseas territory. In 2024, Comoros has a population of approximately 866,000 people. Moroni, its capital located on the island of Grand Comore, is home to around 112,000 people. Mutsamudu is the second largest city and has a population of approximately 23,600 people. Comoros has a tropical maritime climate with two distinct seasons. A hot, rainy season from November to April and a cooler, dry season from May to October. Average temperatures range from 24 degrees Celsius to 29 degrees Celsius year-round with humidity levels remain high throughout the year due to the surrounding ocean. The Comoros landscape is characterized by volcanic origins. The islands boast coastal plains that host several cities, fertile plateaus used for agriculture, and lush volcanic slopes that enhance the island's biodiversity and natural beauty. Mount Karthala, an active volcano and the highest point in the Comoros at 2,361 meters, dominates the southern part of Grand Como. It is known for its large caldera, about four kilometers long and three kilometers wide, with a central pit crater called Chahale. Comoros has no permanent rivers. It depends on seasonal streams called wadis, which flow from the mountains to the coast during the rainy season. Most fresh water comes from underground. Springs on volcanic slopes provide drinking water and rain is stored in natural aquifers. But climate change threatens to undo recent development gains. As a result, the government and local communities are taking the next step toward enforcing integrated water resource management. Comoros is home to unique wildlife shaped by its isolated volcanic islands. Moheli Marine Park, the country's most important protected area, spans about 644 square kilometers. It safeguards coral reefs, seagrass beds, and turtle nesting beaches. The reefs are alive with dolphins, humpback whales, and colorful reef fish, making them a key part of the country's natural heritage. The Karthala National Park, covering approximately 262 square kilometers, includes forests that are home to unique species such as the Comoro white eye and Grand Comoro flycatcher. The islands also shelter Livingston's fruit bat, one of the world's largest bats, along with endemic reptiles like the Comoro flapnose chameleon and birds such as the Comoro blue pigeon and Anjouan scops owl. Finally, Comoros is also famous for the Kulakan, a prehistoric fish thought to have gone extinct with the dinosaurs 65 million years ago until it was rediscovered in 1938. Agriculture is the backbone of Comoros' economy, accounting for 40% of GDP and employing about 80% of the labor force. Vanilla, of which Comoros is one of the top 10 producers along with Ilang Ilang, an essential oil used in perfumes, and cloves are the main export crops, accounting for up to 90% of the country's export earnings. Comoros' exclusive economic zone covers about 160,000 square kilometers and is one of its biggest assets. Fishing boosts food security and jobs, while oil, gas, trade, and tourism offer huge untapped potential. But limited infrastructure and weak monitoring are holding it back. This brings us to the end of our exploration of the geography of Comoros. Thank you for joining us and see you in the next video.